about the afterlife? Do you think there's one? I haven't put too much thought into it. I'm just kind of living right now, but uh, yeah, I'm not. You never think about it? No, not not too much. You've never buried a loved one? I have. Didn't that make you think? Yeah, but I, I think there's some kind of spirit, you know, maybe. Are you afraid of dying? Yeah. I say anyone is. Everyone is. Yeah. Some people just don't admit it. That's all. They're very proud and don't want to be seem, don't want to seem to be weak. If heaven exists, are you going there? Are you a good person morally? Yeah, I'd say so. How many lies have you told in your life? I'd say a handful. <laughs> have you ever stolen something? Stolen two things before. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yep. I do pretty often. Now, why do you do that? It's probably just a habit. Think about it for a moment. You're slamming your finger in the door and you want to express disgust. You might use a filth word or the name of God or the name of Jesus. And think of history. And who in history has had his name used as a cuss word? Like Hitler, Napoleon, Mother Teresa. Nobody except Jesus. Why would that be? Any idea? No, nah, no idea. Never thought about it. Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Yeah. What are you, what are you thinking I'm, about? I'm trying to answer honestly. Yeah, I'd say so. But it depends. Everyone's definition of lust is different, right? Some yeah, people everyone, are, everyone knows what you mean by lust. Yeah. It's either you look at a pretty girl and say she's pretty, or you have sexual thoughts about her, and that's lust. I try to stray away from those thoughts, though, because that's not... It's not a good way to, to think about a woman or have it. Why? Nobody knows about it. She doesn't know about it. Because internally, it's not, not a good thing to... to oh, it felt good it. to me before I was a Christian. I loved it. <laughs> I lived for it. It was my breath. Yeah. And when The night of my conversion, when I read the words of Jesus, you've heard it said by them of old, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks upon a woman to lust after her has committed adultery already with her in his heart. My heart sunk. I thought, you are kidding. I love that. Yeah. And it's, it's wrong, and God has seen my thought life. And the reason I knew it was wrong is because I had a conscience, as you do. The word conscience means with knowledge. And whenever we sin, we do it with knowledge that it's wrong. I'm not judging you, but you've just told me you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, adulterate heart. You've got to face God on Judgment Day. Yeah. If he judges you by the Ten Commandments, we looked at four, you're going to be innocent or guilty. That's it. Innocent? Because I got it good in my heart. I got a bigger, more good in my heart than that's not good. Yeah, but you're not going to win with that one. Judge, I robbed the bank, shot the guard, but you know, I do a lot of good. I give money to the Red Cross. He's going to say, what are you talking about? Yeah. Your good works or your good deeds have got nothing to do with your crime. Yeah, I think he's the same as the court of law, you know. I think it's far, far more harsh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna, you, can, you may be able to fool a judge, but you can't fool the God that gave you life. I mean, he created your eyes with 137 million light-sensitive cells, your ears that hear, your taste buds, your teeth, your blood, your bones, your skin. He created, and he, I and he I formed your soul. I don't know if I believe all that. Okay, tell me how it happened. I don't, I don't quite know yet, but I don't, I don't know if it's, I kind of believe more in the evolution. Yeah, but, but how did it all begin? You've heard of the Big Bang Theory, but... Yeah. Okay, look. But that's, let's, that's kind of far-fetched, you know? An atheist believes the scientific impossibility that nothing created everything. It's a form of intellectual insanity. It's a willful insanity. Nothing can't create anything because it's nothing. So we know the genius of God's creative hand by the flowers, the birds, the trees, the sun, the moon, the stars, the seasons, the fruits, puppies and kittens. All these things show us the genius of God's creative hand. And we know God requires of us to be moral because of the existence of conscience. See, evolution and science can't tell us why conscience exists. So, all this to say, Gene, you're in big trouble on Judgment Day. You're heading for hell, and I, that would horrify me. Now, do you know what God did for guilty sinners so we wouldn't have to go to hell? No. You and I violated God's law, the Ten Commandments, are called the moral law. Jesus came and paid the fine. If you're in court, and someone pays the fine, the judge can let you go. He can say, Gene, you're guilty, but someone's paid your fine. Your case is dismissed. You're out of here. He can legally do that. And God can dismiss your case, forgive your sins, forgive all those crimes of your heart, all the deeds done in darkness. Stay with me. Stay with me. No, please give me one minute, Gene. Please, just one minute. Okay. I'm going to wrap it up, all right? 
the, what you're feeling now is a sense of guilt. God made a way for your sins to be completely forgiven, for you to have everlasting life. Death can be nullified because of what Jesus did on the cross. He cried out, it is finished. In other words, the debt has been paid. What you have to do in response to his death and resurrection is repent and trust Christ like you trust a parachute. Oh, Gene, I know this has been uncomfortable, and I, I please just want you to think about it. And think of my motive. Why would I plead with you like this? It's because I like you. You're a nice guy, and I'd hate you to end up in hell. Be my worst nightmare. And all I want you to do is think about it. Will you do that for me? Sure. Do you have a Bible? No. But I, I was raised a Christian, so... Uh... Did you know the Lord? Yeah, yeah, I've been baptized, and my grandma's a Christian, my mom's a Christian, my dad's a Christian. I went well, to church until I was 15, 16. Well, you're here today because of your family's prayers. That's what's happening. God's not going to let you go. You're the prodigal son. You, you realize that what you're desiring in the pigsty is filthy, and go back to God and say, God, please forgive me, and he will. Crazy place. Thanks for listening to me. Thanks for staying. I know you wanted to get away. <laughs>